Okay, folks, hello, welcome back to the next part. So, yeah, we need to get to moving. Uh, but we're not going to be able to get to moving for a little bit out of this province because we got chewed up just a little bit. Um, it would be nice to get Xiao Hao done up and ready, uh, but I don't know if we'll be able to do that. Dian Man's getting fired anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and assign these troops. Let's use uh, Lu Cheng to do it because Lu Cheng's my. Uh, he's the guy who's not going to do anything. He's the guy who's just going to stick around. I guess we can have Xiao Hao Dun get in on this. Might be a bad idea. We don't have Sao Ren with us, so. Oh, I sent, I sent 27 soldiers home on accident. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and arm everybody up as we can and continue. Uh, next turn, obviously, to re reward Xiao Hao Dun, who we will be taking in the field against the son of his relative. So, yeah, it's it's a bad idea, but I don't think it'll have any effect. We'll see. If he betrays us, then I was wrong. Joke's on me. All right, very good. And let's go ahead. What was his loyalty again? 69. Okay, let will take a, a turn or two. All right, continue. All right, Province 31, fighting 31. So it is no longer a frontline province. So now we can swing some dudes up northward. Uh, and probably swing some dudes southward too. Uh, let's go swing them southward because they're the two latest ones and they're probably the least loyal. Don't know, you guys have done a great job. Guarding this province, it is no longer a frontline deal, so, you know, congratulations, boys. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, that'll be good. So 31, we can put them on auto in the very, very, very near future. Uh, Xiao Hao Ba, let's continue to make him happy, if it is possible. And Kuo Liang would be a good dude to have as the leave behind. He's actually fairly good. I think it's either him or somebody with a very similar name. One of the two Kuo brothers there, who's Lu Biao's advisor at the beginning of the game. And then he's not. Um, okay, we've got a new guy. Yeah, and we'll go ahead and take care of him. Excellent. Uh, what else? All right, cool. Nothing to be done here. Love it. Love it. Love it when it's problem free. All right, let's keep uh, getting everybody jazzed up. Sao Hong, he's the... Oh, man, we got a, a bevy of disloyal dudes. So I'm going to send you down south to Sun Quan there, who's uh, much better at this than Chen Kun. At giving disloyal people money that's his uh, that's his skill that's what he's been doing it's like once a month he gives a bonus to somebody who's a real jerk right undeserve it uh, but that's okay because I need these guys to stay here and be my uh, be my uh, my roadblock all right now here's a guy who knows how to make disloyal people happy uh, it'll take a while. You realize we've moved that guy all the way across the country. Uh, just from one hand to another. I think so, anyway. I think Cao Hong, we got him over from the west. Cao Hong. Maybe, maybe not. Alright, let's go ahead and look at uh, what we're up against for 14. Because I want to move on them as quickly as we can. 218 people, it's not a lot. Ma Chao's the one who makes it really annoying. And then who out of... 15 there. Okay, so yeah, he's Mr. Mr. War Ability. And who's he got with him? Has he got anybody good with him? Not really. Okay, so let's just try to steamroll them as quick as we can. Um, interested in looking at what else. So this is the capital right here, unless he moved it. No. Nope. And he's just, he's famous for turtling up like this. Just sitting there, just bringing in a bunch of not that great generals. 
and just kind of hanging out, you know? And that's what he does for the entire game. Um, okay, he yeah, didn't really have anybody that's too good. Uh, wait, and let's look at his, uh... I don't think any of these other provinces, like 41, have anybody who's even worth half a shit in them. Well, what 34 does. Li Tong, who has a very cool graphic. Um, it's not great, but he's got, he's got people. Um, none of my arm, but he's got some people. Um, so he could be problematic. I don't know about problematic, but I, I know about he could, he could put up a decent fight. Uh, but these days, you know, and a lot of, you know, the best generals in the game are not in the West. I don't know why that is. It's probably because they just didn't get into that many famous battles to where they could be lionized and shown as being like these great dudes. That's probably, that's probably the long and short of it right there. But your best generals are all out east and up north, a few down south. Uh, but out west, other than Ma Chao and the Ma clan there, they really don't have anybody going for them. Um, all right, Cheng Yu, you are in charge of six forever. So enjoy that, playa. Probably should have him send some money. All right. All right, number 10. Number 10. Yeah, lots of disloyal people for you, but that's okay because your 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 job is to have that many people. Let's send some send some goods. What do you think? I don't think we're short on anything, but let's say we are. It would be good if they got them. All right, good. What do we got in 16? I want to look at it again. I want to see exactly how they're doing here as far as troop power goes. Yeah, 590, it's not bad. I didn't expect it to be that much. How's I was fairly good at fighting. Um, that's about it. Some of you, not really. How's he definitely not very good. Okay, so all the guys under arms are not very good. Except for How's Out, which How's Out will most likely challenge us to the combat personnel. And then that, you know, won't be a problem. I'm not sure to do it with the rest of these dudes. I guess we could send them up here. Why not, right? Okay, cool. Great job. All right, so we won the battle. Are we, are we? Yeah, this is our no one is capable turn. Looking good, guys. I wonder what the loyalty of uh, Yan Yan is. Hey, he's pretty loyal out the gate. Uh, I think we've uh, gotten some kind of shoe type, um, and now I don't remember the word. Affinity, there you go, affinity. There you go, that's what I mean, dynastic affinity. That's the word that I've been looking for and I've never gotten. So Sun Chuan's never gonna do anything. I think we know that. Lu Bu's strength is unequal. But then again, so is his ability to be dead. Gosh dang it, what the hell are you talking about? All right, so it looks like we're all ready to go steady. Uh, if I attack, I will not have too much of an army left behind. So let's go ahead, uh, let's look at our people here. We've got soldiers. Uh, Chuko Leong will stay behind. I think. He doesn't have any troops. Okay, so let's hire up some troops here real quick before, because after that point, you know, we won't be able to anymore. So let's hire 200. Uh, no, don't reset him. Okay, good. So we can plus him out and give uh, Chuko Leong some and give y Yang Ping. No, I don't give Yang Ping. Any. Who the hell is Yang Ping? Let's see, who's got a lot more, uh, Zhang Heng does, but his loyalty is, well, it's not there. Not yet. That's okay, though. I just want to, uh, go Leon. Okay, everybody who needs weapons got weapons, right? Cool. I mean, except for our boss, but that's just the way it goes. That's the bad part about being the boss is it's your job to, uh, uh reward everybody. The only one who can. Okay. 
Okay. Ah, oh, did I give troops to Madai? I think Madai does have troops. All right, so here we go. I'm not bringing my advisor with me because I'm going to leave him behind as the governor. And I think that's probably for the best. All right, here we go. Beat our feet on the Mississippi mud. And by that, I mean I'm going to attack Province 14. So we got to take out Ma Tang. Uh, it's funny, like this game seems to have like loading sometimes. You know, it's like it's trying to think what to do next. So Xiao Hao Yuan is like way jack now because we gave him that sword. He's even better than our ruler, which is better. I thought about, no, I didn't think about giving it to our ruler. Uh, so Peng Di will go against the Xiao Hao Yuan. Now normally, uh, Peng Di would have an advantage in this fight, but he doesn't anymore. Uh, I don't think so. I think it increased it by eight, so Xiao Hao Yuan should be at 98. Yep, okay, cool. Yeah, I often give it to him. I like Xiao Hao Yuan. Peng Di, I think, will betray me if I take him on board. So, unless he has a significant number of men, I'll probably just behead him. Oh, I never fired, uh, who's his face either? Whoops. Nah. Well, his head's gone. Okay. So let's go ahead. It's kind of a cool uh, battlefield. You don't see this battlefield much. Uh, because, you know, I mean, this is just not a popular place to fight. Um, I think I've brought this up before. Not on this video. I've definitely brought it on my other videos. That if you let this game run, uh, it'll go to a, I guess you'd call it a time limit draw. Everybody will die, pretty much, before the end of the game. Um, meaning that uh, everybody, like, the computer is so not aggressive that uh, by the time, b it, before anybody can seize all the land, uh, everybody will die of old age. Uh, that's literally what will happen, and the game will run out of new generals to be born. And so, I remember I did that a few times, wanting to just see the ending. Uh, because I... I don't know if it's that I couldn't beat the game. I just just didn't seriously like it would take some stuff over and form some alliances and all this kind of stuff, right? But like I would never really understand I needed to gain and hold all the territory in the game. Um, like I just for some reason did not do that. And uh, so what would happen? is, uh, I, you know, I would just stop playing after so long. So I was like, well, I really want to see what the ending looks like. So let me just let the game run the whole day while I'm at school and just see what it looks like. But when I would come home, it would just say, you know, Koei, you know, 1991 or whatever, because the game had already just like ended. And one time I saw why, it was because basically the whole map was white except for a couple of provinces. There were a couple of dudes who were still alive there were a couple of dudes who were still alive, and uh, they would do their turns, and then they would just die from being old. And all the provinces would like have uh, like thirty thousand, uh, which is the highest. Like if it would show thirty thousand population, which is the highest value to let you have for anything, uh, money and rights. So they would just have full everything, and. Uh, and nothing, it would do nothing with it. So it just goes to show you how uh, wimpy the computer is and how like non-aggressive they are. So Ma Chao, if we could get a hold of Ma Chao, that would be great. We'll see. If I were Ma Chao, I wouldn't want to team up with the guy who murdered my dad, but luckily games are surprisingly unsentimental. Okay, this won't be so tough, because I think this guy has for some reason not bought weapons yet. I'm sorry, I thought this was gonna be a lot tougher. You know, me using Han Zian, but that's not what I, you know. Oh, jeez, yeah, really sorry about this. Because I thought we'd have to scrape a bit more. But we really didn't, because what happened is, obviously I got Han Zian killed immediately. Oh, cool. All right, thanks. So after getting him killed immediately, and after the fact that we had... All right, Peng, I'm beheading him. Okay, good. He'll just cause problems later on. Air release. Get, I'll get you back in a little bit anyway. And I'll definitely recruit. Uh, release. Cool. And then if you release them when they have no lord, then they just become free generals. Um, 
What the hell is this in? Oh yeah, so uh Yeah, so and, and then who's his face? And Zushu, you're not happy with me? Oh, wrong guy. Yeah, of course you're not happy with me. You're a turd. Uh, we'll get him later though. Not a big deal. Uh, I really need more money. Yeah, sure do. Uh, but luckily we can siphon off who's his face's troops. So let me go. Let's go ahead and hire some troops here. And let's go ahead and hire them in such a fashion as to complete us. 68. Yes. Reset to zero. Give only the war abilities the personnel. That'll be great. Yep, Yan Yan and Xiao Hao Wei. Very good. That's a big drop off when uh, you've got. Uh, you go from Xiao Hao Wei in the 70s down to Gong Zi, who I believe is in the 40s. Uh, man, we are short on cash for sure. That's no problem. We can send some from a different province, provided I remember to do just that. So we'll see how that works out. So all kinds of good. All kinds of good news in everywhere and everything. All right, cool. All right, Province A, Quang. Are we anywhere near um, being ready for combat yet? Well, I know I need to reward uh, Xiao Hao Dun again. Yeah, probably a couple more times here. Yeah, one more time probably. Uh, how's the troop training? It's good. It's real good. Uh, it's going to be good. Uh, we can't dismiss people. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's real unfortunate. Let's take a look at let's take a look at Twenty Four, which is the capital, pretty much. And he never moves. Uh, and yeah, there he is, Sun Chuan who's one of the best generals in the game as well. But yeah, he just doesn't have a lot going with him there. He's got a couple of good guys. Um, but he won't be tough once we get there. But we're gonna have to get through the other guy first. So he has some fairly good generals, but he's not concentrating them. The computer doesn't do it. Wow, this, this province is 500. And it's like in the back too. Like, why would you do that, right? Um, because I can't, I can't go around, I can't amphibiously attack them. I have no, like, ability to do a surprise attack on them. Okay, there's Zushu, who's in charge. He's large and in charge. Um, let's see, what do we got here? Okay, Kaozen. So we got a bunch of guys who aren't all that loyal. Um, but definitely could be worse, and I could have a lot worse, uh, worse governor on hand. Because he's a pretty good one, as far as governors go. Um, yeah, so things are going swimmingly right now. Let's go ahead and fix the land up a little. Even though we won't have harvest for quite a while. But that's okay. Alright, so yes. We're, event we're not going to move on this. He's just got to stick around until such time as we do make a move. Alright, so I say in two turns we're going to make the final move against Sao Sao. And then these guys will be unleashed upon um, Sun Chuan. And even some of my southern formations might get in on the act. We'll see. Uh, but for right now, everything's uh, pretty much in hand. Let's see, what do we got here? Can we actually attack anybody with this? Maybe. Is that a promise 22? Could we hit 27? Would that be wise? Mm, maybe not. Yeah, maybe maybe it would be wise. We couldn't do uh, personal combat, that's for sure. Ooh, Tishi Sai. No, probably not. Probably gonna need uh, some, uh, would need some help with that. Although, who knows? Maybe we could do it. I mean, we outnumber him anyway. This guy definitely could take him down, but. Uh, we want to, but we don't really want to with them. Alright, so let's get these guys. Uh, let's send some goods. Okay. 
and send the goods on over. Very nice. Because we're running low on the goods. Uh, let's make sure I remember to fire the Anman. Yeah, these guys might just have to wait. Because I don't know if they'll be able to successfully carry off battles. Uh, I've got Kao Shang that over here. It'd be good to move him to 22 where he would be able to help lead an attack. Provided he doesn't decide he wants to go all off, go off all half cocked and try to uh, Ah, I made a mistake again. So yeah, we're just kind of waiting. Um, it's not too exciting. We're in the doldrums right now because we've got so many damn provinces. And we've got to give guidance to all of them. I don't want to make them, uh, any of them, on auto. Uh, because if they get attacked, I won't be able to control that battle. And do my patented run around like an idiot until they uh, get ambushed to hell. Like you might have seen that in my Liberty or Death one with uh, one particular battle with Augustine Prevost where I just kept uh, uh, running around and doing ambushes and the computer kept walking into ambushes which was great, which was super great. Uh, and also it was a ridiculous thing. Um, but yeah, I might be able to do something like that if I get attacked depending on the way I get attacked in, of course. All right, and this guy. I imagine we won't be sending troops across anymore. So we can probably let this province just kind of sit. I suppose. And there's old Yang An, who's in charge of what, 31? All right, yeah, I should have put you on the don't have to do anything anymore status. It's another one of those awesome generic graphics. Just add white mustache or white hair and that'll work. But I think that's funny. You know, one of these times I do want to let the game run and just look at it from the last few turns there and just see who is still alive. Like who are the longest surviving uh, generals and such. Because I really don't know who the hell they are. So, don't let me forget to do some serious delegations here. And then we can drive right through to Matang, I don't think. Yeah, see, we've got the uh, boonies music. Okay, full command, no, no, yes. And who else? And you too. And no, no, yes, good. Excellent. And so, let's see, are we ready for another battle? Uh, kinda, but I didn't leave behind it. I don't have any kind of slime trail anymore. Man, look at that loyalty. Wow, Xiao Hao Yun, why'd you look? Ma Chao's 99 loyalty to me? I just captured him. Okay. Man, it pisses me off how Xiao Hao Yuan's loyalty went uh, kapoopy. Uh, I gave him the frickin' black dragon, that ass. Alright, well, let's do this. Um, let's go ahead and send Man Ma Chao to fight with this old man, which is pretty messed up if you ask me. And we'll leave Zhu Huang at home, since Zhu Huang is obviously a lot more likely to stab me in the back than the average bear. Um, so yeah, plus everybody up. Yeah, I don't want to delay on this. I want to get this over with. If I get this over with, I mean I'll do it in the next video. Okay, so thanks for watching, and bye-bye.